So let's talk about where you are, Andrew, right now in this moment. You know, what is like going through your head right now? You've been banned off many social medias. You haven't done a podcast in a while. So what what what's your thoughts as to like what are your plans now or like what do you feel about what's happened to you and what's your what's your moves or I mean I don't, I don't expect you to reveal them but what's your plans? Yeah, so the it, Matrix attacked me. Yeah, they tried to remove me from social They've media. They used their bullets. They used their bullets. I'm still all over social media, so they failed. They failed. What's scary about it? The only thing I will say I don't like about being banned is that you get three lives when you attack powerful people. They first ban you and try and shut you up. Secondly, they'll put you in jail for something you didn't do. And thirdly, Mm. they'll kill you. So I've used my first life, which is kind of upsetting when you know that next is going to be some false charges. The two worst ones. Yeah. Yeah, And and if you survive the false charges, you just die. Jesus. So it's, that's kind of upsetting, but (laughs) that's kind of upsetting. It is. It is. I like, (laughs) it's it's kind of upsetting. I like to think that people at home know if I ever ended up in jail, a jail cell and the media started printing why that they'd know it's a pure lie and they they made it up. Yeah. Um, But that's kind of scary. Outside of that, the ban in and of itself has not, I don't care, bro. It's made no difference to my life. I, the only thing Instagram was good for was a bunch of chicks. And you know, that's all, that's the only thing I used it for. And you still have, you have them in. I do. Okay. You know, I don't need it. So (laughs) I I don't care about any of that stuff. Yeah. I do think the social media companies have made a mistake. I think they're now realizing they've made a mistake. Are they contacting you? I can't say what's happening, but I do believe I will be reinstated. However, it's truly not that important at this time. If I had to martyr my social media accounts to show the world that everything I was saying was true yeah, it's about worth the, the matrix, sacrifice. then it was worth it, right? Yeah. All they did was prove me completely and utterly right. Yeah, you've said it a hundred times on different episodes. I am going to be deleted. They're going to try to silence me. Yeah. I wish someone would make a compilation of all these clips because you said it like a hundred times. Yep, I said before. it over and over again. They're going to remove me. They're going to ban me. They're yeah. going to... I, yeah. knew, I, I knew exactly what was going to happen, and they proved me completely and utterly right, and it backfired. They tried to put a media spin on the event and convince the world that I'm a bad person, and that has failed. Mm-hmm. Nobody believes I'm a bad person. Mm-hmm. 99% of the comments on any of my videos are positive. I'm speaking to people who are now waking up and understanding that the media machine lies. And the only people who truly dislike me are the slave minds. If I ever hear about somebody disliking me, when you ask them why, they don't, they don't know. know. They don't know. Yeah. And that's what's scary. What's scary to me is that there's people out there that have a strong emotional reaction to scenarios, people, or events, and they don't even know why. They just read a headline. But that's that's the true slave mind. When someone can say a name to you and you're furious and you go, why are you angry? I don't know. Like that shows (laughs) how programmed you are. They can control his emotions like this. They can control you. So anybody who's critically thinking, anybody with a brain. It's a problem. Yeah, yeah. So anybody with a brain who can think for themselves likes me and anybody who hates me is barely sentient. So it's kind of good where now I have a very strong filter. Like, I don't like you. I know you're an idiot. That's fine. Instantly. Instantly, I know you're an idiot. Oh, bro, I love your work. Ah, a person who thinks. So it's kind of it's kind of it's convenient. It's kind of convenient to instantly filter, you know, my my life. But I must have been approached by hundred thousand people as I walk the street, and I've never had anybody say anything negative to me on the street ever. Male, female, old, young, never. Everybody, including women, love me. They yeah. all say you're saying the truth. You're doing such important work. I've never had anything. I've it's seen just, a video. Yeah, a video came out. This woman, she was like, "What other? Okay, whatever you want to say about Andrew, you can say it." But who are the mentors that the youth have today? Or is it the rappers that are all on drugs and all like over overdosing, which is very tragic. But which mentors do the do the youth have today that they can look forward None. to that says, you know what, it's not cool to do drugs. It's not cool to just party. It's cool to work and to sacrifice and to put to put your goals as number one and actually like you know what I mean? Like grind towards something, have but, goals and chase them. But that's done on purpose. Yeah. The mentors, the idols, the icons that they purport to the youth via the matrix are degenerate Hmm. because they want a degenerate class of semi-miserable sad people. You're never going to be truly happy in your mind if you go against the teachings of God. I don't care how much money you make. If you're a bad person, you're not going to feel happy. I don't care how much money you make. If you snake people or lie to people or do bad to people, you're never going to feel happy true deep in your heart. True in your heart, we're intrinsically designed to do right and do good. And that's something that God gave us. And when you have that, you understand that that's more important than anything else. So these people who are uh, up here promoting degeneracy, saying, you know, take Percocets and bang girls and drink vodka and you're gonna be, you know, gonna be great. I, I drink, I'm not saying I don't drink, mm-hmm. but that's not my message, right? Yeah. And 
those people are never truly happy and they and they're trying to purport that and convince people to do the same so that the whole populace is never truly happy and like i said now we go in circles we've already discussed why yeah. they don't want us to be happy exactly, so yeah. that, you, that's why do you think the drinking is like um an escape of sorts or i love alcohol right i drink right so i'm a drinker but it's not my message. I don't sit here on a podcast and say, everyone drink, drink, drink. Yeah. drink. But rappers, rappers' message is degenerate. Drink, crime, yeah. sh- sh- rub this guy. Completely. And, and Kill that guy. Completely. And I, I'm saying that if you live that way, you're never going to be truly happy in your heart. If you want to feel happy inside of yourself and you want to feel content and you want to yeah. feel stable inside of yourself, you need to live true to God. And I'm not saying you can't drink a little bit of alcohol or not party or not have a little bit of fun, but you have to be a good person. You have to balance life. You have to balance life. You have to be a good person overall. I know I'm a good person. And when the matrix is trying to convince the world that I'm not, that just proves even further that I'm a good person. The world we now live in today, when the mass media machine is trying to tell you somebody is evil, you can know pretty well that that person is probably good and vice versa. Like there's a reason they are trying so hard to convince people to ignore their own ears. People listen to my message and go, that's a positive message. And the media machines going, no, it's not he's positive. He's bad. Mm. They're trying to brainwash you. Yeah. No, honestly, you're, you're right. I'd like to ask you like right now in this moment, are you happy? Is this like the happiest moment you've been in your life? Or can you think back to a time where you were like, this is the happiest moment of my life? I don't believe in the societal paradigms in which they have tried to construct this idea of happiness. I don't believe or subscribe to the way that happy and sad is currently un- understood by the masses of the population. I think if you are anything less than absolutely yeah. distraught, you are happy, you're a version of happy. Uh, it's like saying gray is a version of black, right? No matter how light the gray is, you can still call it a version of black. And unless you've gone through an event which hopefully doesn't happen too often, like the passing of a family member or something that's truly destructive and detrimental to your mindset. Besides these events, which hopefully only happen a few times in your life, you should be happy. If you're not crying or paralyzed in silence due to the absolute magnitude of a detrimental circumstance or the absolute magnitude of a negative event, then you are a version of happy. So I am always happy is the short answer. I don't believe in not being happy. I don't believe in not saying to myself, I'm happy. I'm always a version of happy. And this chasing, this idea of chasing happiness and always being concerned and preoccupied with how happy you are is actually the biggest mistake that a lot of people make, I think, in the world today, especially men who wake up and go, I don't really feel happy, so I need to get happier. And that's how they end up down a hedonistic path of drugs or alcohol or gambling, Chasing chasing pleasure. I don't care how I feel. Yeah. I don't care if I feel happy or sad. It doesn't yeah. really affect what I do each day. I do the exact same things. I act the exact same way. I it does I don't care. Yeah. I, it doesn't I doesn't I don't put weight to the significance of the emotion. So I always consider myself a happy person, but if I woke up and I was slightly less happy one day than another, it wouldn't affect anything I do and I wouldn't put any relevance to it. I'm yeah, hu- yeah. I'm human and that's life and so yeah, am I any happier now that I am that I have hundreds of millions of dollars? than before I was broke? Yeah. Not really, but I was never unhappy. I'm, I'm, I'm the same state that I was then, that I am now. I have work to do and I will do it. It's, it's as simple as that.